My name is Jessica Hewitt. I'm the principal here at Foothill Horizons Outdoor School. I hope that this presentation can let you students, parents, and teachers know more about your upcoming adventure at Foothill Horizons Outdoor School. The following presentation will let you know that yes, it is outdoor school. Foothill Horizons is more than just camp. We'll review what students will do. We'll explore who will be there to support children. We'll also explore where children are living, what will they eat, and what do they need for their four days at Foothill Horizons. Foothill Horizons Outdoor School is owned and operated by Stanislaus County Office of Education. We've been running an outdoor education program for over 50 years. For over 50 years, we've been showing children a different type of classroom. A classroom where your desk may be a rock or a patch of dirt where learning is in students' hands, not in a book. Yes, it really is school. We are often called sixth grade science camp because children and teachers forget that children are learning the whole time because everyone is having so much fun. Foothill Horizons is certified by the California Department of Education as an outdoor school. Just like your elementary or middle school, this certification requires certain safety, staffing, facilities, and educational requirements be met on an annual basis. In the fall, our school looks like this. In the winter, we get rain, beautiful, clear, cool days, and sometimes we get snow. In the spring, our site is covered with wildflowers. We have three goals for students at Foothill Horizons. Our first goal is for students to get comfortable in and curious about nature. Our second goal is for students to learn about science through hands-on exploration. The third goal is for each child to challenge him or herself and to work together with your classmates as well as children from other elementary schools. On the first day, students will not bring their homework and books to school. Instead, they will bring their luggage their bedding, and everything they need for their adventure. They'll load up on Foothill Horizons buses and drive an hour and a half to Sonora, California, to the Neil E. Wade Outdoor Education Center, better known as Foothill Horizons. Students will arrive with their classroom teachers who will be there to support them throughout their four-day adventure. Students will also have naturalist. Naturalist is a fancy name for outdoor teacher. Naturalists are college graduates who have been trained in teaching children outside. The other group of people there to support students are high school counselors. High school counselors arrive with students and are trained and supported throughout the week to be the best that they can be for the children. High school students have been screened and selected by their high schools to be the best that they can be for the students. High school counselors are teachers aides on the trail. Counselors keep students safe. Counselors help make learning fun. And counselors are also there to assist students with their daily needs, such as getting ready in the morning and ready for bed at night, getting to meals and hikes on time and prepared, and finding the other shoe in the morning. We also have a paid staff member who stays in the dorms at night. Gabriel is there for any emergency or for anything that anyone needs in the middle of the night. The dorms are one giant building. There's a girl's side and a boy's side. 
There will never be girls on the boys' side or boys on the girls' side. There are six girls' dorms and a large bathroom, and there are six boys' dorm and a large boys' bathroom. Each dorm sleeps 10 to 20 students. Each child gets a bunk, a mattress, and a large drawer. Students get to bring the rest. Don't forget your pillow. Students don't need to buy sleeping bags. They just need blankets and sheets for the week. Dorms have heating and AC as well as electricity. Dorms also have a night light, so children do not need flashlights. The dorms are inspected by teachers each morning to ensure cleanliness. A perfect dorm would be awarded a golden broom. Right across the hallway from each dorm are the bathrooms. The bathrooms are clean and have been newly remodeled. Students will receive a packing list in the parent information booklet passed out by teachers. If a child backpack has eaten this parent information or the packing list, please go to our website to the parent information tab where you'll find that information. All the items that children bring, they need to be willing to get those items wet and dirty because we are outdoor school. The number one forgotten item is a water bottle. Students often forget to bring rain gear. Bring it just in case. Students have the opportunity to buy Foothill Horizons gear. It is ordered in advance through the student's teacher or school on the Foothill Horizons merchandise form. Here's what we offer to students. Prices are listed on our website as well as on the merchandise form. All funds generated from the sale of Foothill Horizons gear are used to fund students who cannot afford to attend. Here are four items we ask children not to bring. We want children to focus on each other as well as exploring the natural world around them, which is why we ask that children do not bring cell phones. If that makes families nervous, families can always call Foothill Horizons on our landline, and if there's ever an emergency at Foothill Horizons, we will always call families. We also ask that children leave behind expensive cameras and equipment. You can always purchase a camera like the one shown in this picture, a disposable camera. We lastly ask that children do not bring food Food in the dorms means that ants and mice try to move in with the students. The first adventure hike. Finally, after students have packed, rode up on Foothill Horizons buses, met their naturalist, met their high school counselor, moved in, had their first meal, they finally get to go on their first adventure hike into their new school. If students are quiet on these hikes, if students are still, they might get a chance to see some of the animals in these pictures. If the wildlife is not cooperating, Foothill Horizons also has some captive wildlife, such as a hawk that students will get to see up close. On that first day, students will also get some items that will help them throughout their week. Students will receive a Foothill Horizons journal to record their memories as well as their science learning. Students will also receive a tree cookie name tag. If you know anyone who has been to Foothill Horizons before, ask them if they still have their journal, they still have their name tag. Chances are those who have gone before you have done the same activities that the students are about to do. On that first night, 
also campfire. No, we don't do s'mores, but be prepared for songs, skits, and lots of laughter. This is a schedule for a middle day at Foothill Horizons. Pay attention to the time that you wake up, the time that you go to bed, and look at how many classes you have in a day. I'm going to pause for about 15 seconds for students just to read through this schedule. Notice on this schedule that it says you have two classes during your day. A class is about two, two and a half hours long and a class is outside. It's a hike. It's where you hike a little bit, you explore, learn, hike a little bit more, explore, learn. You'll be hiking and stopping for that whole time period. Hike's distance is a maximum mile. So if you run the mile at PE, doing a hike at Foothill Horizons is no problem. Meals at Foothill Horizons are served family style, which means food is in large bowls in the center and students can take as much or as little as they would like. Most children enjoy the food. Our cooks save most of the sugar on campus for the last day. Our cooks also work hard to get students the food that they need to be healthy. Please write on Students' Health Form any food allergies or foods that students cannot eat. If it's complicated, have families call our cooks, and chances are we have dealt with that same dietary limitation before. Students are also responsible for cleaning up after the meal. Each table works together as a team, which means if your team works well, then you will be as happy as this child because you will be five minutes closer to getting outside on the trail. Attached to our dining hall is our health office. Our health office is staffed by our health clerk and naturalist. Naturalist and our health clerk are trained to take care of bumps, bruises, and administer medication. All medication that students take on a regular basis, Advil, Tums, cough drops, or prescription medication must arrive at Foothill Horizons with an administration of medication request form signed by a doctor and a parent or a guardian. The bottle that the medication arrives in must match the paperwork. Medications will be collected with the paperwork and reviewed by the school nurse two weeks prior to students attending. Inhalers and EpiPens. We strongly encourage families to provide two of these for each child who is allowed to carry their inhaler or EpiPen. There's also a special section on this paperwork, so pay attention. Classes. Teachers will choose the classes for students. Students won't get a chance to do all the classes we offer, but you'll get an idea of what it is that students learn while at Foothill Horizons. Students may get a chance to explore the Miwok village in the Miwok class and learn how the Miwok people lived. They might get to learn how their lives are different from students' lives. Or perhaps students will learn how the Miwok children's lives are the same. Students will get to play some of the same activities and games that Miwok children played Students may also get to taste the food that Miwok people ate the most of. 
If your group gets to make fire, remember that it takes a team. It takes perseverance, hard work, and a little luck to get fire. In the ecology class, students will explore how everything is connected in nature. For example, what happens to a dead deer in the woods? And where did Earth get all its energy in its first place to grow that deer? My personal favorite, in the ecology class, students might explore where soil really comes from. This is a picture of a game called Camouflage. If students want to know more about this game, ask those who have come before you to explain what is that game called Camouflage. Students will get a chance to dip their feet in a cool mountain stream, but students might want to consider the answer to this question. Where does the water come from? That answer will tell children the temperature of the water. There's more than just sixth grader feet inside the creek. There are other hidden treasures. So be sure to pick up a rock and look underneath it. If students want to know more about weather, then teachers can sign them up for weather team. Students will learn about meteorology as well as present a weather report on stage. In the evening, students will get to do games and dance. No, it's not a boy-girl dance. Naturalists will teach dances and students will get to do them. These big group dances often lead to silliness, laughter, and perhaps high school counselors looking like this. The discovery class is all about learning through exploration, making observations, and using the mind. Students will explore in our hands-on museum, use their prior knowledge, and figure things out. Just as real scientists do. Students may also get a chance to visit the bird blind where students, if they're quiet, might get to see some of these extraordinary creatures. Some of them are very visible. Others are a little camouflaged. So make sure you're paying attention. On the blind walk, students will not use their eyes. Students will explore with other senses. Students will follow the chain and learn to identify trees and birds without ever seeing them. The blind walk is a learning experience that adults often remember 10, 20, or 30 years later. Your teacher will meet you at the end and give you a chance to record your experience. Very few children ever see the blind walk. The geology class is one of my favorite classes because it rocks. Students will explore what shapes the rocks at Foothill Horizons. Students may even participate in that weathering and erosion process by exploring under, through, and in between the boulders. Students may also learn why there are lots of rocks at Foothill Horizons and not so many in the valley. Students may explore how rocks were made and be able to figure out just by looking at a rock outside whether it came from a volcano or the bottom of an ocean. Free play. At Foothill Horizons, we call 
recess, free play. You will have about an hour of free play a day. The following are some activities that you'll get to do. Yes, there is soccer and other activities not shown here. Foothill Horizons is an outdoor school, which means there is also detention. An individual student or a whole dorm can find themselves on Detention Hill for 5, 10, or 15 minutes. If the student behavior is more serious than detention, then the student may find him or herself in the step binder. For step one, students have a conference with their teacher and are written in the binder. Step two, Students are written in the binder, have a conference with their teacher, and call home. And the family and the child and the teacher work together to develop a plan so that student may have their full foothill experience. Step three is the child will need to be picked up by their family and go home. Children only have one opportunity to come to Foothill Horizons as a sixth grader. So every day, children will make choices about their behavior. Children can find themselves in the step system or on the wow board for every kind, nice behavior they choose throughout the week. The wow board is often a source of pride for teachers and principals. Children will also get to choose whether they get their whole recess to themselves. Showers. Students are often most nervous about showers. So here's how it works. Students get changed in their dorms. They wrap themselves in a towel, get their soap and their shampoo. A teacher will come get them and they'll send them into their own individual stall. Each stall has one shower head, two walls, and a door. So children get their private shower. Yes, there is hot water. Teachers will start timing and they'll give students time warnings, such as one minute, 30 seconds, and then children will head out after, 30 sec uh, after their three minutes. Children are often nervous they cannot do a three-minute shower. 7,000 children do it every year, which means you can too. Night hike. Night hike is an activity that most children only do at Foothill Horizons and remember for a lifetime. On the night hike, students will go as a whole hiking group to the Sky Tower. Students will climb this two-story tower up above the trees and perhaps they'll learn why we are called Foothill Horizons. Maybe they'll see the sunset or maybe students will see the constellation, planets, or the phase the moon is in. On one day, children will go on a field trip on a field trip. On this day, children will go to two places that are unique to California. Children will explore the world's largest trees, the giant sequoias. People come from all over the world just to see these trees. Students may learn why these trees need fire to survive and how they started no bigger than an oatmeal flake and grew into these massive giants. Children may also learn why they only grow in California. On field trip, children will also have a chance to go to Moaning Caverns. At Moaning Caverns, students delve 165 feet into the crust of the earth. Students may see their teacher descending on a rope, while sixth graders get to go down on the stairs. Naturalist will answer questions at the bottom. 
such as, can rocks really grow? Or why does a cave need water? On the last night, it's kids campfire. Each dorm presents a two to three minute skit on a topic that they learned about throughout the week. The next morning, children get to choose their own activity. This activity is based upon the number of points each dorm earned for having a clean and a quiet dorm. Some classes are Sky Tower Art, Gold Panning might be a class, Snakes Alive or Advanced Discovery Hut. Students may choose to do Team Challenges or have a chance to do a compass orienteering course or create their own Miwok bracelets. On the last day, students will have made many memories. Students will have made new friends, work together with both the old and new friends. Students will have learned their own strength and capabilities by facing and conquering fears. Students will have learned about science through exploration. And students will have recorded that learning and science in their memory book. Students will have explored nature's mysteries. And when they return home, we hope that children will continue to learn about science and explore the natural world around them. If this presentation has left you with some unanswered questions, please visit our website. We have a parent page, a student page, a teacher website page. Please visit us on all these social media outlets listed below. And we always love for families to come visit us at our open house. It's a free event that happens in the fall and spring from 10 to 2 p.m. For the dates for this year, please go to our website. We hope to see you soon.